Hello everyone and welcome back to All The Mods 9. We are back and we have done some pretty good progress. Uh, we went all the way to Venus in the last episode, which got our hands on the tier 3 rocket. Um, beyond that, we actually got bees for each different um, thingy <laughs> Um So in here we've got that set up there, all the different stuff. I, I don't know if we've got them all running at the moment, but I don't think we need them to. So we should be good. We also, you know, I will actually show you. Um, I believe it's over in this direction. I'm trying to... <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this at the start of the episode. Um, I'm trying to minimize... Not necessarily the amount of lag that we experience. Because we're not really experiencing that much more lag than usual. But I'm trying to minimize the amount of like um, lag on camera. When we teleport around and fly around super fast. Because it, it is a bit nauseating. Um, I am aware of that. But we set up this little area. I think... We can make this look a lot nicer if we just chuck like some, almost like some marble or something. Do we have the calcite? Yeah, this stuff. Can we polish this maybe? No, <laughs> I thought we could. I was really, I I had a plan. The plan was to polish them and that was going to be that. Um, I mean, we can just make the floor out of calcite. I kind of wanted them to be bricks or something. You know what I mean? We can cut them, but they don't really, hmm. Yeah, we want this. How do we, hold on. <laughs> How do I do polished <laughs> Plot thickens. Polished calcite. Calcite. Polished calcite. Oh, okay. So, polished cut. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. So, this one's from chipped. But then this one's from create. Polished cut calcite. What a plot twist. Uh, anyway, let's <laughs> let's grab out the chisel. Let's grab out a little bit more calcite. Um, we'll open this chisel up. We will, yep, connect everything. Um, and we, I mean, I just want, is that all I want? I guess that's all. Now nah, let's do, let's do bricks or something. Yeah, that'll look nice. And we want it to chisel all of them. So chisel all, um, chisel all, chisel. I'm pretty sure that button is meant to chisel all. Um, okay. Huh? What? What just happened? <laughs> Wait, this is, Okay. I've, I've got nothing for you guys. I'm lost. I'm... Okay, I guess that was a different... What? Oh, I, I pulled out diorite. Listen, guys, we don't talk about it. <laughs> How embarrassing. Why did I, why did I decide to just make such an embarrassing mistake at the start of the episode? <laughs> guys, I swear the whole episode won't be like this. That's might be a lie. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll quickly, you know, make this stuff look nice. Very beautiful. A little bit trippy as well. Um... But yeah, this should, I mean, it should look nice. <laughs> Have I said that it will look nice enough times? I'll grab some more calcite. Um, but yeah, so th this area had the potential to look good before I ruined it. Um, but that's all well and good. Uh, and this episode, what are we going to do? Wonderful question, to which there's definitely answers. There's totally, totally an answer. But yeah, that looks nice already. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Um, I'm not sure. That's the answer. Let's jump in the quest book. We're trying to make this guy here, actually. Um, the quest book lags first time you open it, so bear with me. Um, usually I try to do that. What a what a terrific start. <laughs> We're trying to get this guy, the master of reality, the improbable probability device. Um, so we got the jet suit. The rest of this stuff should be a walk in the jet suit park, if you will. So in here, let's make some patterns. Um, to begin with, let's make the pattern for the improbable device. I believe if we search this, it doesn't exist. So we'll go ahead and make the recipe for it. I already crafted one of those last episode. We've made a jet suit manually. Let's continue here then. Um, this nitro battery, we've got everything except for this battery, which we have everything except, you know, I should actually, I'm going to redo these without exact mode. Um, Cause that's just going to be a little bit better. So you and you grab that. That way I imagine if the battery has charge, it'll still use it. Hey, that's the only thing I'm just concerned about, but as you can see here, it's probably not going to be a problem anyway. I think we'll be crafting it from scratch in the system. Beautiful. So, that should be... Oh, God. oh, are we really full? <laughs> I will say, I am concerned adding more of these because when we check out the controller, that is where most of the the stuff's taken up, are these netherite crafters. You guys have said in the comments as well that I'm free to change the the um, config for the controller. So I will do that next time it becomes a problem. Um, but hopefully it won't be for a little while. Um, anyhow, netherite craft, we need netherite for, for some reason I still haven't just solved netherite. We're gonna, listen, 
one of these days, <laughs> we will solve netherite. Netherite will no longer be a problem. But for now, for some reason it is. Do we not have ancient debris? Like, infinite? We, we have nothing. Hold on. Netherite B. Can we just get one of these guys? Ancient B. Block of netherite and a diamond B. Um, ancient B is what they call it, right? So, do we have a... I'm pretty sure we have a diamond B, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah. So, if I grab two of these, <laughs> um, and we grab our diamond bees, these are not very high productivity. All right, cool. But, yeah, we're, we're going to do the thing. We're going to do the classic bee thing. Um, we're going to go here into the bee zone. You know... Gah! What is this area? Why is it so lame? <laughs> Sorry, I've just realized. It, we, we've had these bees for so long. Upstairs, beautiful. A paradise on earth. Downstairs, absolutely, just horrendous. It's just, it's stone and dirt. Like, the, look, there's some niceness to it. I think in the early days, there was niceness to it. But it, it, it's been like this for far too long. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to grab our very high productivity. <laughs> we're going to get these bees running. Right, and then while they're running, we'll we'll furnish this area. We'll totally do that, guys. I swear. All right, honey treats as well. This is another problem where it's like, how do I still not have infinite of them? What? Oh, God, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing more than just my marbles. Okay, boom, honey treat, and then cage. I apparently have some copper on me and some zinc. In <laughs> sure. Um, so we're gonna go diamond B, boom, bear. Awesome. Then we're going to go diamond B, boom, bam. Awesome. Then we're going to do the same thing, but with this. So, uh, yeah, I think diamond B, netherite, boom. Awesome. Um, diamond B, netherite, boom. Cool. Very nice. Okay, so yeah, these guys are diurnal. Ooh, I just realized I need another block of netherite for the B. Man, I don't really do much of that thinking, do I? <laughs> At least not these past few episodes. All right, well, we'll cross our fingers. Wait, 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 wait. There is a chance, a very small chance, that this guy uses ancient debris. No, <laughs> okay, yeah, so we, we, we need some stuff. That's fine. Um, vibranium B and stuff. Yeah, cool. All right, so what I've been doing is this has been like my go-to little apiary. So we'll empty those bees out. We'll put our ancient bees in and we'll... <laughs> we'll hope that that flower gets us what we want, I guess. So in go our ancient bees. Beautiful. I will... Look, I, I'm going to furnish that area. Give me a second. Not furnish it, but just, you know, decorate it. Over here... <sighs> do we have... Have we set up like a... Yeah, we've got this zone. What are these? These are doing earth, fire, air, water. I could just hijack one of these. Should I just... <laughs> Is that what I should do? Should I just hijack one? I mean, in terms of the essence, like, we've got enough. We're, I think we're good on those essences for now. So let's go ahead and just borrow this guy. Just to, just, just to borrow on him for a little bit. And we'll just take out that and we'll chuck in that. And we'll put that away. That should hopefully get us just enough netherite to do what we want to do here. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I just need enough to do, like, one of those, right? Does that make... Oh, it only makes one. We need so much. All right, well, that can do that thing. That that can do that thing while we decorate this. Now, in terms of what we're doing here, I think we can stick with the um the theme here of wood, but maybe we have a little bit more of just like normal planks or something down here. I'm thinking normal plank floor, possibly cobblestone wall, maybe a special cobblestone or something, and then for the roof, possibly even just logs. You know, what I mean, that, that, that's what that's what I'm envisioning here. So let's uh. Let's go planks. We might make the planks look nicer. Not sure. Can I order like a thousand of this? Beautiful. Um, yeah, we'll grab out a bunch of planks. We lost our chisel, of course. We'll try the chisel. We'll possibly use chipped. I'm not sure, but let's take out that. Put in that. What is it? I forgot to grab that. That's fine. I've got all these on me as well. <laughs> when, how did this? Oh, yeah. We need the netherite. Gotcha. I'm, caught, I'm catching up. Um, so, what do we need? We require... Oh, what's going to look nice? We could go, like, obviously connected texture. I mean, that's a pretty block. It's almost looks like honeycomb. You know what I mean? It's like bigger honeycombs. I think we did these ones for the walls upstairs. So I think these ones... 
They're sort of like bigger honeycombs, but down below. I, I think they could look nice. I'm going to chisel, chisel them all. Um, we'll obviously switch back to our exchanging gadget. Um, we'll have to put some covers in as well. Which I don't know if they'll copy. I'm pretty sure... Whatchamacallit. Um, I can't even think of the word. I think applied energistics facades work nice. All right, we don't want our cables gone, so we want to do not fuzzy. Yeah, we want to do not fuzzy. And so I think if I just right click this, that should do a pretty good job. All right, it's gotten a lot more than it needed to, but that's okay. It's it's fine. Grab that. I don't don't really know why I can't grab this. That's oh, there's a rose bush there, but it's invisible. Cool. <laughs> sure. Um, so we'll, yeah, we'll transfer that. Get this whole area beautiful. Did we get over here? Might as well. Boom. All right. So now we're going to need uh, covers. It also looks like we do need a little bit more wood because I think we've just filled up all the floors with it. <laughs> um, planks. That shouldn't be a problem. Boom. Pow. Boom. Connected. Boom. Okay. So these are connecting thingies. If I go nuggets, I, I will say the benefit of refined storage um, facades or covers or whatever is that they are so easy to make um, in comparison. You don't need to make cable anchors or anything. Yeah, so as you can see, they're not, they don't look the greatest. Let's grab some covers here. The other problem is I can't place hollow covers without picking this stuff up. And I, I find that to be a big, <laughs> a big downside, to be honest. Like, now I can place the cover and now I can place... Huh. Where'd the thing go? Am I crazy? Oh, you know what? It probably got picked up in the dank. No? No, I don't know where it went. Do you guys see an exporter on my inventory? Did you pick it up? You must have, I guess. Sure. I, I didn't know. These guys also do not need to be these exporters. Let's just... I think there's, what, eight of them, maybe? Let's just pick all those up. They don't need to be there. They're, I mean, they're not even doing anything at the moment. On the off chance that they do do something. <laughs> do do. Um, we can talk them up later. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I think they were doing rose bushes or something. Who knows? Um, so that's okay. Yeah, the floor's going to look a little bit goofy because of the way that this works, but I think it's okay. Is there anything even under there? There is. <sighs> does this look too silly now? I, I almost, I think it does. I think what we have to do is we have to pick a block that doesn't do that. Oh God, <laughs> we've made such a mess. All right, everything's fine. Everything is A-OK. -okay. I probably shouldn't have picked them up. I should have just um, exchanged them. I don't really know why I continued doing it after I, re after I realized the errors of my ways, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> God, what a horrific episode. So we don't want them to be connected. I was gonna say, where am I? What? Okay, let's not stand on that. Cool. Okay. Um, so we don't want it to be connecting and we still want it to look somewhat nice. So we might just have to go like one of these zigzags. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. So they'll look like this and they should look just as nice in the other stuff. Cool. We'll pretend that this is going to look great when it's done. <laughs> let's get building gadgets like that. Let's set just massive um, surface. Is that what we want? Massive surface? Yeah. And then I think if I just clicked it. Wait, wait. We do not want it to replace blocks or do any of that. Cool. Place on top, fuzzy. Yeah. So if I click this, there we go, cool. So I'll go place all these and then we'll fill in the gaps. We'll uh, just get rid of those covers, get rid of that. We'll make, I don't know. Oh, didn't want to make that much, but I guess it's okay. <laughs> uh, and yeah, we'll just. We'll just fill in the gaps. That area can stay like that. Also. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Um, just before we get too over the top here, um, what's happening? What have I put in here that isn't meant to be in here? The chisel. Cool. You go there. You go there. You go here. Um, you guys enjoying this? <laughs> We're not doing much, but I'm just messing around. But I, I don't know. Some of you guys claim that you enjoy this. I'm sure some of you do, but I'm also... I'm also I also bet there's probably quite a few that don't. Um, I need a wrench. I need a refined storage wrench. To be fair, you guys are probably talking more like actually building something. <laughs> the problem is, right? Let me, let's go on a little bit of a rant here. The episodes that are fun to watch that are building, like when you watch someone building something and it's fun, 
usually they sort of know what they're doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's sort of the fun part is watching them put together this thing that they know how to build. What was that? I tried wrenching. Oh, I was using the wrong wrench. All right, let's put it into that. <laughs> God. Um, but yeah, the problem is that when it's someone like me, I don't know what I'm doing. So it ends up being a little bit more messy. Oh, some, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Some of these things, ah, it doesn't matter. It, do, it, yeah, it does not matter. Let's make some hollow covers. And that can go there in prep. Cool. Um, are we good? Have we sort of covered most of the stuff? There's stuff here that just looks like a problem. Um, we've also just got random glowstone in here. I don't know what that, that approach was, but that didn't really work. Let's break this, place a cover there. Come on. Okay. What? Ugh. I mean that it look it's fine. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All right, boom. This looks beautiful. This, oh my god, this part's the best part we've done so far. It's marvelous, isn't it? And then boom, boom, boom. Totally doesn't look weird with the lighting effects on it. Um, this guy here, wonderful cover. Beautiful, stunning, <laughs> absolutely amazing. <laughs> Wonderful work, everybody. Absolutely stunning. Okay. Um, now the walls. I, th I think the walls and the roof here are going to carry this uh, build quite a bit because it's... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, what are the walls? The walls, I'm thinking some sort of cobble, right? This whole time, we're producing netherite, okay? So, it's, it's okay. We're not wasting time. We've got plenty of... Look at how much essence we've got, right? Look at that. That's a, that's a block ready to go. <laughs> Which means I can just quickly pop it up here and we've got even more netherite. We're essentially, right now, boom, netherite problem solved. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay? Um, hopefully. We'll, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, the walls, cobble. Let's stick with it here. So, I'm going to get a bunch of cobble and we're going to chisel it. And we're going to see what this looks like. So, take that out, put that in. Um, this stuff can be connected. I don't think we've got any messy walls. Any messy wall, I think we can... We can fix, you know what I mean? Like this over here might be a messy wall, but that it probably not a problem. Um, cobble itself, probably fine. So I kind of, honestly, I kind of just want to cobble adjacent one. As weird as a statement as that is. Um, as in, I want it to be cobble, but I, I kind of wanted it to be almost like mossy cobble. You know what I mean? Like cobble with a little bit of something else to it. But these are sort of just cobble textured like cobble colored other stuff. You know what I mean? So, for example, I, I might just cobble the wall. Should we should we do a, a, a test run of cobbling the wall? <laughs> a new a new a new term of coined. So if I select this and we set this oh god, that's the wrong button. And we set this to be a nice three. We set it to be fuzzy. Ah. Uh, yeah, we can set it to be fuzzy. And we do something like that. Oh, what's that from? Okay, I was I was like, hold on, have we made a horrific mess over here? What's happening here? No, that's fine. Um, have we ruined anything outside in our escapades? No, I think we're good. Um, but if I were to do cobble, it looks a little bit bad at the moment because it's mixed in with dirt. But I think if I accompany this with a specific roof, I think it'll actually work. I, I, I you guys might be able to see it. You know what I mean? Like you might be able to feel it. It's not quite here yet. This whole area here was for like uh, breeding bees and whatnot, but like it is not needed. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. That saves some trouble. <laughs> yeah, I, I can I can see it. I'm looking into the future and um, it's all, it it's beautiful. <laughs> it's it's going to look great. I'm making sure because I've got it set to fuzzy. It will replace things in the wall. So we want to be careful that we're not uh, accidentally well, replacing those things. Um, so it's good. That's nice. Over here, it might get a bit messy, but I think we're good. I think that works. And then what do we want to do? We probably want to switch this back over to not fuzzy. Um, and then, yeah, then we can sort of just do this, do that, do this, um, do that. Um, I think that's fine. It might look a little bit silly at the moment, but I think it'll look better once it's good. Over here, we can jump back into Fuzzy Town, population us. Um, 
yeah, let's do this, let's do that, let's do this, and then let's fill in the ground. Um, this part can stay as is, because I guess it's less of a thing and more of a, th a thing, you know what I mean? Like, it's part of a build. Uh, cool. So, hey, hey, once again, I reckon, how does this look? Now that we've done the full thing, I think it's getting a proper, like, it's getting some character to it, you know what I mean? Like, a little bit of theme, whereas before it just, the little template didn't do it justice. Um, so now, the roof. I'm still thinking logs. I don't, I don't know how it'll look. I don't know if it'll look good. <laughs> but I'm feeling it. So I reckon we grab some. I don't know if we want them to be wood. You know what I mean? Like wood logs. Oh, you can't even process these. Can these be... These can be carpenter workbench from chipped. Let's do that. Let's go carpenter's table. That needs an X. Easily done. Beautiful. I like chipped. Chipped. Uh, the benefit of chipped is this. Stunning 3D blocks. They look beautiful. Um, and also you can do this. You do like a log, but a little bit different. You know what I mean? It keeps that log texture whilst uh, making it a little bit more exciting. Like you can have some nails in it. It's very small. You can you barely see it probably from your screens, but there's tiny little nails in it. We use those uh, quite early on. Even mixed oak log. I don't know. Might look nice. Let's, let's place one down. So this is mixed oak log. So that's what it'll look like on the roof compared to that. So I guess you get a little bit of something in it. I don't know. It could be nice to mix it around. You know what I mean? Like, eh. <laughs> eh, maybe not. <laughs> Alternatively, there's that. We can have those on the roof. You know what? I kind of like it. I like. I, yeah, I like that. So on the roof, we'll have these facing that way. It looks a little bit... Disgusting, but I think, <laughs> but I think it can look good. I, th I, th yeah, I reckon we can convince ourselves <laughs> that this looks nice. What, what do you guys say? I reckon, yeah, I reckon we've done it. I, I reckon that'll look beautiful. So let's increase the range like so. Let's make sure there's nothing on the roof that we can replace. Over here there will be, so we'll just have to be careful as we build. But I can place that. Oh, and look at how beautiful that looks. Oh, it's so cool. I, I like the um I like the new visuals on the building gadget. I reckon they're very, very pretty. Um, we are replacing a little bit of the stuff over here that we probably didn't want to. I also did right click and it didn't really do it. Are we oh we're out of the stuff. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why we're whispering now. Um By the way, guys, I I specifically didn't tell you guys this because I didn't want you guys to know. But now, I, I want to I wanna hear your reactions. The past, like, 10 episodes. Uh, you know what? Actually, I can, I can figure out exactly how many. There haven't been an insane amount of them. But there's been a decent amount. It's been, like, probably a week at this point. Um, since all the mods... 105... 106, I think. So, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And this one. So that is um, seven videos already without telling you, eight including this one, have been edited using a, a new program. No, well, not, eh, I'm using the same program, but there's a, a step I do beforehand. Um, it's, it's a paid program. I'm not sponsored by them by any means, but it's, it was so good. Like, like so, so, so I, I, I'll keep building here. We can, we can talk as we build. <laughs> Surely. Um, usually for the, for the episodes, in order to edit them, I just cut out the parts where I'm not uh, talking, right? And as simple as that sounds, it has been so difficult for me to find a program that'll help do that for me. Oh, and I found one and it's awesome. It's so good. Um, I, I still go through and double check that I'm not, or I try to double check that I'm not like sniffling because normally I'll like, normally I'll cut those parts out, but I've, I've sort of delegated a lot of that to this program and it's been amazing. All of that time that I would usually spend, um, just sitting there listening to my own <laughs> recording, not even listening, but just like. I just go to the part that is silent and I just like cut it out. I just go cut. And that, like, it's not so much that it was time consuming. It was more that it was useless time consuming. You know what I mean? Like, like we get it, you know, like I'm not, it was just a waste of time. And so I've got this program recut and it cost me like, it was like a hundred US dollars. So it ended up being like <laughs> bloody 170 Australian dollars. Absolutely horrific. Um, 
but oh, well worth it. Uh, it's got a bunch of different toggles and you can like have it auto delete the silence essentially. And that's been really good. Really, really good. You know what? This, this building's missing something. You guys can feel it, right? Not only is it missing a better staircase, <laughs> we'll, we'll fix that, but it's missing corners. Yeah, yeah. We need now to use actual logs, I think, in the corners here. So like this part here needs a log and then possibly even like a log through the, through the ceiling. You know what I mean? Uh, it probably doesn't need one, but I reckon we can add one and, I, and it might, it might do something. So like if we have this go through here, yeah, it does something. <laughs> I, I, th I think that helps out quite a bit. This one here goes right into this. Um, we could do it. What we do here, check this out. You, oh, you guys are going to love it. <laughs> this really turned into a, a building episode. It's, I don't think it's all going to be building. There is stuff I want to do. Um, it just so happens it is building currently. Um, this guy, you ready? Oak log, boom. Place the cable back. That stuff's kicked up again. Awesome. And then I think as well, for some reason, I feel like you could do something with the pattern grids. Or, could, or is that, um? I might be thinking of applied energistics. But I thought maybe that could... <laughs> look like it's a pillar and does that work does that look doable or does that just look silly now uh it's a little bit silly because we can't even see the thing but i think it worked i think it looks nice um this part here can definitely be logs i think so that part there and then this part here and then possibly that there yeah and then we'll fix that staircase but i think even just that like, even if... I, down here feels like it needs something. So, maybe even... um, hmm, I don't know. It's because it, it's because this part's pulled out of the wall. Possibly even just placing cobblestone here. So that that part's walled off. That might just do it. Possibly. Otherwise... I'm not sure. Otherwise, I could add wood down there. But I, I think we've done it. I, I think it just needed this part here. and And magically, that's... I, I think made everything look really nice. This part looks a little bit goofy as well. That's probably that solved. Yeah, I think we've done well. This part here, this could definitely do with something. I, look, I'm not quite sure what it could do. Maybe even just this. Honestly. Does that now look nice? I think it does. I think we've done it. I think we've, I think we've pulled it off. I think it's really, yeah. Cool. This part, yeah, I'm really not liking this. Hold on. Let's listen. If we're gonna do it, let's let's do it. So let's break that. Let's break that. Let's place the padding grid here. Yeah. Let's place the oak log above. I don't think there needs to be any cable connected there, right? Yeah. No, the cables are connected behind, so that's fine. So we'll ah, uh, let's not do that log. Sorry. Let's do this one. You ready? And then let's remove this, and we'll place them in the walls. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, this guy is an item output. He doesn't do anything else. This guy is an item output. He doesn't do anything else. So what we'll do is we'll place our two cables there. We'll place our cobble covers. Specifically, cobble hollow covers, if I can do that. Cool. Boom and boom. And now we can have these guys. Once again, that's not where that goes. <laughs> Once again, doing their thing. Did that just empty all the stuff that this was doing? Hopefully not. Cool. What do you guys think? I think that that looks nice. Somehow I think it looks worse. <laughs> How'd I do that? How'd I manage that one? Um, I don't know. I think that's okay though. Okay, but yeah, honestly, I, I think we've done it. Um, a few things that we can fix definitely is this guy, the Feral Flare Lantern, looked silly um, where it was. So we're going to place it there now. And this guy's not centered either. Just kind of looks goofy. Let's go ahead and uh, just move him around, I think. Um, do we even have any mosaic? Yeah. There we go. Boom. Um, where do we want to pop in nowadays? Um, I can't, I'd love for it to be centered somewhere, but it doesn't really seem like that's possible. So I almost just want to slap it like right here or something. You reckon I can get away with putting it there? Is that... I think that's far enough off center that, that it's okay. And this is bees. Cool. Yeah, I genuinely, I think we've done it. Um, what we need to do now is this guy here needs to accept the stuff. What's the stuff? Glad you asked. It is <laughs> netherite combs. It is 
ancient combs. <laughs> it's one of those. So is that doing it? Mm. Oh, yeah, ancient combs, cool. So ancient combs, what do they give us? That gives us netherite scrap and we still need to make netherite itself. Awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fix some of our recipes. So if we go into craft manager, I can search netherite. We have a recipe for netherite ingots that use scrap and gold. Awesome. We have a recipe for um, a, for a block that uses nine ingots. Awesome. And then we have an option for netherite scrap that uses ancient debris. Cool. And then you can get an ingot. No, you put an ingot in to turn it into dust. I mean, this is perfect. What's the problem then? Sometimes it says it needs the thing to make the thing. And I don't know what it's referring to here. We've got all netherite options here. And they all seem to be perfectly fine. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think, I think we're good then, right? I think so. Okay, so uh, we want our netherite uh, crafter. I would like to order one. One of the crafting ingredients ended up needing itself, and it has a picture of netherite ingot. You need to remove the pattern or make sure the pattern is not used during crafting. The offending pattern is for netherite ingot. Ends up needing itself. But does it? Netherite ingot ends up needing itself. How? Netherite ingot. Netherite ingot outputs dust. Okay. Um, I mean, I'll leave that there. It's in a module or router, I guess. Netherite crafter. Cool. So right now, if I try to order this, it goes, hey, whoa, I, buddy, I need some netherite ingots. Fair enough. I agree. <laughs> so then I put in this pattern. Which says, craft them, bro. <laughs> Go for it. Um, and this goes into one of these that has an empty space. Just one of them that has an empty space. Yeah, here we go. Boom. And then if I order it, it goes, whoa, whoa, buddy, whoa. Okay, so. Ancient, nope. It's uh, the scrap. The scrap is made out of ancient debris. And the ancient debris is made out of netherite dust. That's the offending recipe. That is the recipe that would be put away. And now we can order the netherite crafter. It now needs ancient debris. You don't though. You've got scrap. You just don't have enough scrap yet? Really? Am I, cra am I crazy? Hold on. How much scrap do you get? Hold on. So if we put it in here, it's a 10% chance per comb. If we put the comb in here, it's a 10% chance per comb. Yeah, okay. I mean, 10% chance. Like, we should still have a decent amount, though. We've been absolutely burning the stuff. Netherite scrap. Wow. Ancient. Huh. <laughs> I'm so I'm so baffled. All right, well, anyway. We can we can just craft some manually using the essence. Sure. Um, crafter. Cool. That was a bit weird. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why that was so difficult. Um, but anyhow. Ta-da. Cool. And these recipes can go in. And now we are one step closer <laughs> to our improbable probability device. So, um, we now have that here. If I were to click craft, it says that it is missing flight module. It says it's missing the batteries. That's a blatant lie. Um, and the high density power capacitor, as well as some iron dust that we'll have to consult because something's clearly happened with our ordering there because, I mean, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, so, how do, where, do we, where do we begin? Flight module, high density, cool. So the flight module, that is going to cost this. And I'm not actually able to make a pattern here because the syringe is empty and the syringe needs to have a gas in it. <sighs> okay, okay. Um, so how do we want to approach this? Let's go syringe. From Stargate? No, from RF Tools, right? Yeah, from RF Tools. Um, so we'll craft one of these. Um, I mean, we can just, gr God, how do we want to do this? If I search gas, do we have a gas egg? We, no, we have a year gas egg. <laughs> of course, of course, that's what we have. All right, gas spawn egg. No, we, we, we just don't have it. Solium spawner could pull it off. Oh, we need the essence though. Transformation powder on a carbonite gas guard can turn it into a gas. Sure. Just pull some of that out of our behind, if you will. <laughs> Um, 
Mob swab. Do we have a ghast mob swab? Puff, a puffer fish mob swab? Just a ghast mob swab? No. Okay. Um. Yeah, alright. Whatever. Let's jump into Vibranium. This should be in the nether. We'll go swab a ghast. We'll syringe a ghast. We'll try to automate the syringing. I don't really know what it's going to do when I syringe a ghast. You know what I mean? Like, does it absorb the ghast? <laughs> do I have to punch? I think I might have to punch the ghast. But to be fair, it says level zero. Uh, this can be used in the spawn. And note that the syringe needs to be full. But I think for the recipe, it just needs to be ghast. Ghasted. You know? <laughs> just needs to be ghasted. Let's go here. Let's search entity. Press enter. Um, we're going to want the distance on these up. And there's a few different ones. So I'm going to be pressing entity a few here. A few times here. <laughs> and increasing these distances. I will say I appreciate the search. I, I, I like it. I do like the search. Um, but the problem is that I've installed my own mods. Um, that have the ability to... Okay, cool. We're, we're good. So, gas. I mean, I'm mainly looking at the map anyway. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. So, on on here, do we see a ghast? No. <laughs> cool. Um, Alright. Well, I'll keep looking. <laughs> I guess we'll try to go to this area. Like some classic nether. I'm guessing that's where we'll find ghast. I assume they don't spawn elsewhere, perhaps? Oh god. How am I even going to get there? It's gonna be a nightmare. All right, I'll uh, I'll meet you guys somewhere. I'm sure. All right, I, I thought I'd pop in to let you know that I, I can't find a ghast. Um, very very difficult apparently to find a ghast. Um, I'm finding all different types of locations apparently, but no ghast. Um, genuinely surprised. I, I've tried going into just normal vanilla biomes, but still really no luck. Um, I'm not seeing them on the map either. We've got crimson shroom bees. <laughs> I guess that's a that's an option. Um, yeah, unless I'm just blind, I do not see. I haven't been seeing any gas or, or hearing them. Um, so yeah, is it possible? Did I mute gas? Maybe maybe that's possible. Um, uh, let's go to all gas. No, the only ghast we did were the Carmenite and the Yurghast, so I should hear them. You know what I mean? Oh, this looks awesome. Netherite monstrosity has spawned. Whoa! What? What? What have we walked into? <laughs> this is awesome. Um, what do we have here that's disappeared? What was right here? My pickaxe. Ha! Huh. I don't have my pickaxe. Guys, I don't... Is it in... Guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to guess that I dropped it in the base. That's what we're going to hope. Uh, but that's awesome. Look at this, dude. So, do I still have... I still... Yeah, I've still got this. My bow and my arrow. Cool. Let's, let's see. What do you take? Look at his health. I don't really know... Is he almost dead? Has someone else been, like, trying to kill him? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's almost dead. How weird. Yeah, oh. Oh, well, I probably should have, uh, mob swabbed him or something. Huh. We got Destructive Infernal Forge of the Skuller. When in your main hand, right click a block to cause AoE damage. FYI, this is a pickaxe. Experience gained, mining speed. A monstrous horn. And a cool little seed. Um. Yeah. Oh, and there's some like redstone. Hat. Cool. <laughs> I feel like I cheesed that entirely. I don't really know how. Um. But I got off easy, I guess. Um. Still no gas. Still. Yeah. I don't. I, I might actually have to look into one of those other options for getting a gas. Um. The transmutation powder. That. <laughs> uh, genuinely, that is kind of seeming like the play because. In terms of gas spawning, I would need either... I can't do that. 
I could I could birth it. That's an option. We'll bookmark that. Um, or I can do this. Transformation powder. The problem, I don't really know how to get that. Transformation powder. Transformation powder. It doesn't have a recipe, so I don't really know. Mm. So the only other option is the nature's aura, and that one's like... I've got to think. Oh, you know what? No, I definitely had it in here. Oh, it's a problem. Because I specifically remember mining with it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well... Oh, man. That's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> man! Did I seriously? I mean, I must have. It's not here, is it? God, that's embarrassing. Okay. Well... Unlucky. I might. It's possible I'll look over the recording and see like whereabouts I was when I lost it. I guess maybe I can uh, head back and. I did, wait, wait, hold on. I heard a gas and didn't even think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, cool. So I've got. I've got syringed gas. And now it's full. So that's an option. Um. And now it's dead. But I got it mob swapped. Cool, cool, cool. Well, R.I.P. our Paxel. <laughs> I'm sure we'll, we'll we'll set something up. We'll we'll make a new one out of something. Maybe just make an Aldermodium one or something. Um, cool. So we've got the syringe. So just real quick, is it that simple? Okay, we'll go. Sure, sure, sure. We've got a little bit of work to do. Um, so this recipe allegedly doesn't work unless I put that in. Cool. So now we've got the flight module, awesome. We need these two now, so we'll grab this recipe, awesome. This is going to need this thing, awesome. This needs infused diamond, oh, easy. That needs infused ender pearl, also easy. All of them go in here, boom, pow, boom, boom, pow. And now I should be able to order, oh, assuming of course I'd chuck this in here, a flight module. No, it's not happy about the syringe. Um, we'll have to automate that a different way, but in the meantime, we can uh, manually put this guy together. Let's search gar. Let's search syringe. So yeah, that's f that's fine. I might be able to set it up to do exact or something, but regardless, it's doable. We got a flight module. Um, next up is this guy, the high power density doohickey. So he, we've already done that recipe, didn't we? Let me search high. Density. No. Okay, cool. This is either Signalum or Atomic Alloy. We'll do Atomic Alloy. Why not? Then we need this guy, which we'll use Infused Alloy. Which we'll need this guy, which we'll use a bunch of stuff I don't have. Iron Plate and Redstone Iron Wiring. There we go. And then Iron Frame. There we go. Cool. Sure. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Let's jump in here. High Density Magic Man. We'll order that. I imagine it's pretty quick. It's probably just got to craft a little bit of stuff in the um, infusers. Uh, so, <laughs> are we done? <laughs> what else is left? We're pretty much done. Uh, we're going to need a lot of iron in order to make that piece. So, let's double check what this is. So, we can either make this, 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 or that's it. Cool. Now, in terms of these parts, if we search 1048 we can craft this storage part. This requires um, over 100,000 iron. If I craft the fluid one, it requires uh, just over 10,000 iron. <laughs> so very, very cheap in comparison. If we search for the um, for this guy, um, well, we can't. Well, like we don't, we're, no, we're nowhere near this. That's so much effort. The fluid cell is so easy for this recipe. So let's go ahead and alter it so that it uses that instead. <laughs> um, all right, so I just made this guy here. Let's go ahead and chuck him in. Let's remove that. Let's drag in, huh, fluid storage part. Am I crazy? I don't see it on the right side. Storage part, does this not exist anymore? No, it's here. Okay, I'm crazy. <laughs> crazy, 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 crazy. Uh, that goes there. Create. Let's set it to exact. Uh, let's just let's just set it normally. Cool. That goes there. And now, if I search improbable, 
It's still going to say, ah, oh, you don't have the batteries. Oh, it's still also wanting to do storage parts. What happened there? What, what? Huh? Maybe I need it to be exact? Can, can use other ones instead? And now if we search it, yeah, now it's good. All right, so yeah, two battery nitros. So let's search battery nitro. Let's get uh, two of them. Made that harder than it needed to be. This should be quick and easy at what it does. The problem is it's not. We can solve that by keeping a stack of all of these things. Let's go at power. <laughs> and let's drag in a stack of each of these uh, crystals. How does that sound? So like a stack of energized, a stack of blazing, stack of niotic, stack of spirited, and a stack of nitro. Beautiful. <laughs> I think we already had some of that. Uh, there was definitely some energized steel in one of these once upon a time. That's clearly lost its mark though. Um, cool, we've got the two nitro cells. I'm gonna grab them and place them in my inventory, where as you can see, they do not charge. And we're going to go ahead and edit the, uh, the recipe so that it uh, can make use of them properly. So let's place this here. Let's click those in. Um, and it, it's not happy. It can't be done. <laughs> How do you gather that? What, what, not, what nitro cells are, is it using, huh? All right, let's, let's not update it then. So it just won't work, will it? If I search improbable, that's crazy. No, it doesn't work. Um, let's try one last thing. Let's try filling the batteries up. You know what I mean? Maybe they genuinely need to be filled. Um, now, oh God, oh God. Yeah, see the jetpack really, really runs you down. Um, so if I chuck these in here, no, it ate it. <laughs> it ate my nitro battery. I need, a, I need a new one. New nitro battery, please. Um, there we go, beautiful. I wanted to place it like here. Yeah, there we go. So this thing can store 2 billion. Um, this thing does not fill up fast enough. And it's doing 2 mil per tip. Do we have, I thought we had, a flux controller over here. That might be in the base actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Because this guy should have access to a lot more power. The problem is he doesn't... He doesn't charge the way that I want him to. Do I need to go flux storage and get one of these, potentially? Flux block, flux cores. Ugh. Eyes of Ender. Yeah, sure. And then flux. Yep. Flux cores. Cool. The stack. Wonderful. And then flux block. Um, flux block. Boom. Beautiful. 16 of them. Let's get another stack of those while we're here. Impossible. Wonderful. Um, we got flux blocks. We're then going to go flux storage. Craft at least one of these. Awesome. Slap him down. Hook him up to Ustream's network. Is there no inventory on him? Cool. Useless. <laughs> really? Okay. Um, in that case, we can go Infinity Charger. We can craft one of these. I'm pretty sure this is a really good charger. There's obviously the chance I'm wrong, which happens quite often, but we'll, we'll give this a try, see if it's able to charge it. Um, whenever it's done any year now, preferably. Yep. There we go. Um, so in theory, I place this guy down. I search, um, flux point. I grab one of these. We slap this down. We hook it up to do stream network. We bypass the limit. So it is now getting 100 mil per tick in here. As you can see, it can store 1 trillion. And then we place our battery in and it's, it's not charging that fast, all things considered. I think it was charging. Oh no, it's not charging fast there either. Oh, but hold on, hold on. We can do speed upgrades possibly. Is that possible? Boom. We do one speed upgrade. <laughs> really? What other add-ons is, is, is this possibly accepting? You're telling me you can accept. Oh, sure. Yeah, you can accept efficiency and productivity. There you go. Or processing. Um, so what's that? That's 2 billion. Uh, you know what? It is pretty fast, I guess. Because, you know, it's almost there. <laughs> well, I wanted to try it perfectly full to see if that counts in the improbable. We do not need to fill this normally, I assume. But we're about to see. We're about to find out. Oh, I think it does. Because look at it. It now looks like the one that we saw in 
the improbability device. So if we go in here, uh, it still says it's missing too, but I might be able to add it to the recipe. Yeah, hold on. Let's go nitro. Let's grab this guy out. Let's update that recipe. Let's see if it can use this one now. So as you can see, it's those. If I place this instead, no, see it's, I have no idea why it's so furious about my batteries. All right, well, I don't think I have to do this then. I think what we do instead is we go here, we order what it needs, which is already broken, but we click this in, we search 204, we search 202, we search, we search fluid, <laughs> and we grab the fluid storage disk that is, what one is it? Is it this one? 1048? Yeah, 1048, I totally knew that. All right, so we order that. That should hopefully not take that long. Um, wireless crafter, boom. Here it is. <laughs> what are we going to be waiting on here, do you think? It'd be nice if it told me, like, what machine, I guess. I don't know how they'd do that. Maybe on the side, if it showed, like, the <laughs> this is, like, so much effort. If it had, like, for example, a furnace here, and it showed, like, furnace symbol, so the block that the thing's attached to, furnace symbol, and then the thing. The only place where that messes up is when it's like a crafter attached to a chest. But even then, like, this one renames itself to Furnace. If you could, I think you might be able to, if I could rename the crafter to like, you know, um, Metallurgic Infuser. And then when I place it down on, or, or maybe in the UI, I can change the name to it. And then even though it's connected to a chest, we can still, we still know what it does. I don't know. It's an idea. Um, are we good? Do we have that fluid guy yet? No. Cool. I think we're almost there. These these numbers look a lot smaller than they did before. Yeah, we're almost there. Alrighty, fluid goes there. Half battery and a full battery goes here. And no, it does not work. Okay, let's charge this one to be full. What's going on? What am I missing? Battery nitro stored full to the brim. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm there. I'm, I'm there with you. Let's check the quest book. Maybe there's a thing about it. No, to make the flight module needed for this, you first need to make a syringe and then fill it by attacking gas with it. Um, oh yeah, we did that. Yep. Um, make sure to fill these up. Yep, 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 yep. Um, add extra will take you out of this world. You travel to planets. Cool. I'm just trying to see like if it said that they need that the thing needs to be filled as well. All right, we'll, 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 we'll fill this one. So this one's filled. <laughs> am I crazy? What am I missing here? Do you reckon the jet suit needs to be filled? Look, I don't... I didn't think it did, but I'm now thinking it might have to be. This one shows it empty, so I don't think so. So then what's the problem? What do you reckon we've done here that, that it's not happy about? Battery nitro, both of these are filled to the brim. Let's, um, let's try it in a good old fashioned crafting table, perhaps. Do we think that might be maybe the problem? Hmm. Um, so we've done a bunch of cool stuff. Do I even have a craft? <laughs> I don't think we've got one place or I have it for a while. That goes there. Two of these. One of those. Two of those. One of these. One of those. And one of those. No comprende. Interesting. Okay. So. <laughs> huh? It shows all of these as potential options. Fluid storage part. Fluid storage part. From extra discs. Um, from extra discs. Yep. Uh, huh. I'm really trying to think. Because normally when this is happening, it's something I've done. But it has to be something to do with the batteries. I When I click to paste it in. Okay, it's not even putting that in anymore. Because it's got an ID, I guess. Let's, um, let's go computer. Oh, let's actually just grab the recipe for it. Order that. Oh yeah, we've got two there. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, look at that. One of them pastes in, but the other one doesn't. Why? What? <laughs> Why? Does it need just that little bit of, you know, you got it, pal. What? What makes this one the one? <laughs> And the other one, not the one. That's crazy. What? 
Let's order like 10 of these <laughs> and um, just fill them all up and, we'll, and surely one will work, right? Then what we'll do, I've, I've got a great idea. We'll have them go into this. Uh, yeah, whatever. We can fill it up again. We've got plenty of stuff. We'll have it go into that and then export when it's done. And we'll, we'll just place it like right here. <laughs> so we'll place this guy down. Brilliant. Make sure he's got power. It looks like he, he filled up in it. No, he, he didn't. We'll bypass the limit. Wonderful. Chuck in these guys. Brilliant. Let's get an exporter and an importer. Cool. So we'll export there. We'll import there. We want to import battery nitro um, exact. And we want to export in here battery nitro empty. And that should, that should work. And we want it to be exact. So these should be going in there. They're not currently, but that's okay. We're going to take one out and we're going to add it to the list here. <sighs> no. <Nah, it's laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, I guess that's why. This guy's not happy. He's not taking out the exactly empty one. That's fine. Um, that should have been blacklist and then that's whitelist. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Boom. Whitelist. Pow. Excellent. So now this one can go in there. Awesome. So that'll fill up. Um, and in the meantime, we'll sort of do a bit of finger crossing, I guess. And hope that we get one that's good enough. Um, I can probably time in a bottle this. That should hopefully fill it and drain it faster. Let's grab the rest of these. I'll just grab them all. Or as many as will let me. Chuck those in. That looks like it's going wonderfully. Can I? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. We've got the power for it, which is honestly quite amazing. There we go. Let's grab out all these empty ones. Excellent. Chuck them in. Get them filled. <laughs> Get them empty. At least one of these should work. We're just going to brute force this uh, recipe. All right. That's all of them. Wonderful. Let's remove that one. Let's click here. Ah, sure. For some reason, these two stack differently. How crazy. They're identical. Either way, hey, how's that for a improbable probability device? There we go. All that remains, Master of Space, Master of the Undead, Master of Patrick. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I don't really know what the thumbnail is going to be, but we got the device. That's probably it. Um, yeah, I think, hey, I'll tell you what. I know it was most of the episode, but look, oh, I didn't do the stairs. Hold on. Let's just do something here real quick. I don't have my pickaxe, my Paxel. Oh my God, how embarrassing, man. Um, what do we want to do here? We just want to do something simple. Like, honestly, I think just some cobble stairs. I think that's all that's needed here. Just some, just some good old fashioned, if I remember how to make them, cobble stairs. There we go. We come down here. We do hit our head, which I'm not a fan of. Let's maybe, we'll go back one. Everything's fine. I'm going to pickaxe the dirt. I'm just, you're just going to have to deal with it. I'm pickaxing the dirt. You cannot stop me. Pickaxing the grass. Everything's okay. We're going to be all right. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you pickaxe the dirt. That's what happens. Um, cool. So let's, let's finish this off. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Hopefully you, uh, have enjoyed. I've, I've been having some fun. Um, as for these walls, I mean, I guess they can be cobblestone. Let's, let's move. Uh, but, Yep. <laughs> Didn't really work. Um, yeah, so let's just do a little bit of that. Just a little bit of manual remodeling. Not a problemo. Beautiful. And then, do I want to put logs through here? Part of me wants to. Part of me just doesn't really want to. Honestly, I might get more joy out of just having this be cobbled off. Let's have a look. What, what sort of effect does this give to the building? Not too bad. I, I'm, I'm, there's something happening. I can see a vision. Let's maybe just get like, um, walls, framed walls. Fra one more framed wall, framed wall. Yeah. 
And what if we make those be some logs? Look at that. How beautiful. I, I think that looks quite nice. I think this arguably doesn't need to be there. But then the problem is it does look a little bit silly just to end this here, doesn't it? Even if I do that. Does it? We'll see. We'll wait until that's grass tomorrow. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. This area looks absolutely beautiful. Quite happy with that indeed. <laughs> um, thank you, of course, to our donators and our channel members. Thank you for the nice comments. Um, you guys have been very positive throughout pretty much the entire career of my uh, YouTube channel. So thank you very much. Honestly, it's really, really nice. We've, I, much to not my own fault, we have a really good community. Um, so I'm very, very grateful. Um, thank you, guys. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot, you guys might get flamed in my discord. <laughs> That's a horrific experience, but, it, but it's, you know, it's, it's all in, all in good fun. I, I don't think anyone actually, you know, hates anyone there. I think it's just, <laughs> everyone's just annoyed, which I don't know. Everyone has a right to be annoyed. Um, it should be nicer there nowadays with, I've, <laughs> I, I cracked down and by the way, me cracking down was like, Hey guys, be nicer to newcomers. And, and on it, like that should be enough. Uh, people are pretty nice. So that should genuinely sort out any, um, rude awakenings, I guess that were happening there or introductions. But yeah, um, things look nice. Cool. Let me know what you thought about that part specifically, the building of the, the B base. I know that was quite, quite a bit of it. Um, let, let me know what you think because we can do more of that if we need to, we can do less of that if we need to, you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it. So even if you guys love it, there is a chance that I just don't have any of that content anyway. <laughs> just because like, I don't know if I don't, if I didn't find it fun, it just won't happen. But um, at least I'll know. At least I'll know um, whether we can. Oh, I, I like it. I, li I like it. That part, I think needs to be there. It's feeling a little bit weird now, but I, I remember without it, it looked a little bit horrible. Yeah, we've done pretty good, I think. Mm. Some parts are a little bit odd, but like this part, yeah. I like it. I like it regardless. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you to our tier three channel members. Thank you to Melissa and Phoenix 13 And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.